You know that type of unpleasant conflict conversation where our partner might be triggered or upset about something that they think that we did, but in reality, they're actually just completely out to lunch and the upset that they're reflecting just actually doesn't bear any resemblance to reality. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, of course you do. Pretty much all of us have been there. So what do we do? Let's say they text me and my battery died on my phone or something like that. They accuse me of ignoring them because I didn't respond to their text messages. Let's say their car broke down and they were trying to get a hold of me to help them. Later in a conversation, she expresses to me how stressful her day was and how she really needed me to be there for her. I didn't answer my phone. She thinks I was ignoring her. And really there's just a lot going on for her. Whew. Here's what I shouldn't do is get upset back at her because I'm taking it personally, or I think that she's crazy, or that she's making up stories, or she's living in a false reality. Like, I I've totally been there, and so I just want to acknowledge how difficult this can be to hold space for this sometimes. And there's a deeper level of emotional maturity that we can approach this type of a situation with. And so it looks something like this. So she's upset, her car broke down, she tried to reach out to me for support because I'm her partner and I wasn't available and I didn't answer my phone and she thinks I was ignoring her. And so what I can do is just have compassion and empathy for how tricky or difficult that situation must have been for her. And so I can just listen without getting offended or taking it personally or going into judgment stories about how she's out to lunch or totally crazy. I can just soften and listen. And I might reflect back something like, your car's breaking down, you need your partner, and all of a sudden you're in this place where it seems like I'm ignoring you. Like, yeah, that's, that's really awful. And I just want to acknowledge how painful and uncomfortable of an experience that must have been for you. So like right away, I'm offering compassion and empathy. I'm really taking the effort to drop into their world and imagine what their experience must have been like. Like their interpretation of the situation is false, but the emotions that they are feeling are real. Like their sadness, their disappointment, the upset, that is undeniably true because it's happening in real time, present moment reality. The story attached to the feeling isn't true, but the emotions are true. Yep, that's how I would handle this particular type of situation. And so I hope you were able to get some use out of this video. Thank you for watching.